influential websites like the one I've got here benefit from multiple footers by enhancing user experience, increasing engagement and conversion rates, enabling targeted messaging, providing monetization opportunities. This tutorial shows you how to display a different footer on the homepage, like the one you are having on your left, while the subpages will remain with the standard footer version at your right hand side by using the Cadence Elements feature. Cadence Elements are incredibly powerful features. This allows you to create your custom designs anywhere on a specific page based on your own conditions. To start off, make sure you have enabled the Cadence Team Elements feature from the Cadence dashboard. Next up, head over to Cadence Elements feature from the WordPress dashboard. Add a new one. To replace the footer on your site using elements, you will want to use a content section type. You give your name here. The footer should be created with a top-level row layout block. A row block works as the container. So I added a row layout block with this structure of 40, 20. In the advanced tab controls is where you set to be semantically correct. So under container, HTML tag, define it as a footer HTML tag instead of any other. The minimum high 400 pixels. The first column will contain the brand details and the other ones will contain utility links. This is a personal brand website offered by the Candence team starter templates. The brand needs to showcase its products as an influential to the market. For the spacing, you may need to adjust the padding. To me, I go with this one and this one. For the first column, I insert an advanced text and the next advanced text will contain the brain goal sentence. So I duplicated this first H to H5 block. I defined it to be a H5, duplicated, converted to a span. For this column, we are done. It was really simple. For the remaining ones, I will create only one column items, then I will duplicate in order to speed up the process. So I had another advanced text, H5, then change it to div, and you may need to assign from this icon the link. Next up, you just need to duplicate four times and you may need to make your adjustments. Next up, I want to design the bottom row containing the standard copyright information and social media icons. So I need to add a new row block. So press enter, click on the plus icon, add a new row with this structure, center heavy. I only will be using the first one and the last one. I insert here an advanced block as a div. To the last column, I will use now the cadence icon block. This one, you should decide the icon size, the line width and the icon color. Duplicate and adjust the icons gap. And here's the design final result. The simplest approach now to define your new custom footer is to click on the Cadence Element Settings control. It's located at the top hand side, this one. Then from this drop down list, you will need to determine the placement and choose Replace Footer. The only missing part now is to define it to show up only on the front end. And this is where this display settings comes in. All you have to do now is open up and choose to display it on the front page. You could also determine underneath the user visibility by going through this list. Basic, it's visible to all users just to log out, so forth. I go with all users to make things easier. Let's preview first on mobile view. It looks pretty good to me. The only correction I need to make is to modify the alignment. 
So let's do this. You easily achieve this by selecting each cadence section. So open the list view, select the section and change the text alignment to the center, just like that. Checking on the front end, this new footer should only be visible to the front page and the other pages should display the default footer design. Okay. Scrolling down, and there you have it. It looks a lot more professional to me. And now let's check the other pages. It should display the standard. Okay, there you have it. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I catch you in the next one.